morning Hello and welcome to our daily vlog I'm back on the farm after like six days away it's so nice I've been sleeping in my own bed last night and then getting back to normality uh, um, feeding the cows and yeah, getting all the stuff done on the farm I think Andy's been cutting some grass they've also had a, a mole drainer, borer, whatever they call it go through and put a pipe in for the electric gate which is now here fantastic look at that beast so I think on Sunday night we had an idiot drunken driver um, nearly crash into the farm as well, I'll show you that it's a roundabout, straight on into this ditch here um, by the sounds of it by the sounds of it um, the, uh, the lorry driver that came and helped with the fire that time so Andrew Wade he messaged me and said he stopped and saw the car there and the guy was off his head either on drugs or drink or something um, but then fled the scene and the car was gone the next morning so luckily I'm guessing nobody was hurt but yeah glad the new gate wasn't there and they'd run into the new gate or something like that but you know can't um, can't uh, account for everybody's stupidity can you so right we're gonna uh, get this day started anyway um onto positive things so andy and connor have already got started if you caught a glimpse then we've got something new in the shed take the stickers back on it <laughs> they're coming off already um Yes, our MX bucket has come. It's arrived. Look at this. So we've got to put the uh, wheels in, which I guess we'll do today. Um, but it's here. All brand new, up and running, ready to go. I like it. So we'll give it a little blast. It says if you can remember how to drive these machines. I say it's been six days since I've been on the farm. Six whole days. It really does power it out, this new bucket. I'm liking it. It's not even got the wheels in it either. Just shows sort of the, uh, maybe the amount of wear that we had on the walk. Auger. Auger. <laughs> Can't say auger. Andy and Connor are putting the straw out. Got the teagle back up and running. Yeah, he's made a nice job down there. And Connor. Morning. What have you been up to? Looking at, Look at him up. It looks like they're cleaning there actually. Yeah, them ones, them ones, and the one right back, and then all pile of prep right back stuff. Nice, nice work. They've been busy while I've been away. Morning, Andy. Morning. You missed me? Yeah. Is it weird that I'm in Devon and you weren't? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A little bit. Did you enjoy it? It was lovely, mate. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, the vacation up there. Nice. Oh, we're all right here. We've already destroyed so these pipes are a lot longer than the ones we've had before and it's got trapped in the pinch point there oh that's not lasted very long has it one feed it <laughs> uh, right so i have to put some i have to try and find some shorter pipes yeah just way too long so i put on the shorter pipe these are much better because then you can't get trapped but um, I can see why they do put longer ones on because not everybody's machine works exactly the same and some people will be complaining that the pipes aren't long enough. MX is stuck behind a, between a rock and a hard place is what I'm trying to say because sometimes some people want it longer, some people want it shorter. And I suppose we've got to try and create a happy medium somewhere to be able to mass produce them. Um, but we'll have this fixed and back up and running. I broke it, I fixed it, jobs are good and we're back. To capacity. The thing that we have come across with this bucket is the pins aren't firing in. It's off. So Matt's going to fetch the old ones back, and then we're going to get some of these, um, some some new ones. I'm guessing it's just out a little bit or something. Um, but um, don't give it give credit to Matt at Ripper Farm Services and MX. They're sorting the job straight away, so that's what we need. I've made a Joe Seals modification because uh, there's nowhere else to like do anything so they're out of the way now anyway we should be able to uh, to not trap the pipes 
So the A team's arrived already with the bits and bobs left. Is he alone? <laughs> Morning, Joy says. I'm gonna have a little uh, last about just finishing feeding. Um, I said pins aren't in great, so I'm having to uh, just be careful with what I'm doing. But uh, then we'll get there, we'll get them swapped back over, and then everything's you know proper safe and like, not not just crossing his fingers a little bit. It's coffee time. Parcel. And what this is? These guys are swapping the brackets over. Matt's come to the rescue. Cus to customer service, that innit, Matt, eh? Always. Here within the hour. Bam <laughs> Be a cameraman, just a minute. I'm a cameraman. Yeah, you are now. Yeah. What have we got here then? Oh, is that not the smallest envelope you've ever seen in your life? Oh, man. Eh? Oh, look at that. Hi Joe, just a little something to say thank you for spreading the word about a small business. Yes, yeah, so it's Chelsea Country Crafts. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Get ready. <laughs> business. Look at that. I'll clean it cab out. It's tractor in it. It's got to be for Andy, that. That's. We've got some business cards as well. Oh. So thank you very much to Chelsea and the team. So Matt for being the cameraman. Anytime, Joe. Ripping farm services. Yeah. Best, <laughs> best firm going. Give us a ring anytime you want. <laughs> this we got in the yard. We got a 215. Oh, it's Adrian. This is Adrian's 215. Pristine. If you remember, we had a 7530. I think that's gone now. And that trail looks brand new. A quiz question for you. How old is this Bailey trailer? I'll let you know tomorrow. Hey up Adrian, I think I've seen some dust on here. <laughs> What's up like? I see myself though. It's very, very tidy, that trailer. Very, very tidy. But while I've been talking most of the morning, it feels like, Andy's got the, uh, got the mower on the little tractor. So we're gonna go and start doing some silaging, I think. But this is our mower. We've not got the front mower yet, which is, Hopefully coming very soon, but not in time for this job. Just swapping the blades around now to get a sharp edge. So everything's ready, fresh blades, and yeah, let's get going. Get to the field to start some uh, some silage season. Oh, I'm here now. We'll get this cut. It's a bit of weeding where um, we reseeded some because they dug a um, sewage pipe across here, but it'll all mix in. So we'll get them all folded out and uh, we'll get going. Once it's all unfolded, we can just operate the spool valves and lift it up and down as we need it. When we want to be cutting grass and don't want to be cutting grass. Fire it up so you can hear any bangs or clatters. Sounding good. So I just jumped out, see how it's cutting. Probably leaving it a bit long, really. So we'll just um, shorten the top link. So just giving it another check now. Probably cutting it way too short now. So I've gone a bit too excessive on the uh, shortening of the top link, I think. First time round the field, we drive against the hedge side. Cuts it like that. It gives me an idea of what the, the hedge side's like, where there might be any um, Foreign objects or a bit of mounds and things like that. So I always cut these bits the last bit of the field because um, if anything's going to go wrong, usually it's going to go wrong at the side of the hedge where a branch might have fallen in or something like that. So get the rest of the field cut and then do this last. So we've got everything right now. We're going up and down. Well, we're not going up and down. We're still going round and round, but I will be going up and down fairly soon. We'll get this bit knocked off. There are, however, a lot of manholes in this field. I mean, a lot, I think it's like five or six just in this little one that we're in now. So um, that'll be fun, navigating them. Oh, I'm just going out hunting for manholes now. I'm sure there's one in here somewhere. It's here. And believe you me, you cannot see that. So we'll just uh, try and flatten some grass, <laughs> so to speak. Oh, spot the manhole now. There's another 
Oh, and that's raised up. That would cause some damage, that. Oh, yes. And a nice one here as well. Lovely. Another one here. So, hopefully now, I've walked around all the manholes. Big, big, hopefully. There's just that many that I can't quite remember how many are actually in this field. On my other GPS, it shows me I've got them all on flags, but this new one, not been able to do that yet, so maybe next year I'll know. I'm in the last run in this break, and I think I've got all but one of the manholes uh, done. Like, just one left in this field, two left in that field, one left in the one behind us, none in the bottom one, which is fantastic. But um, yeah, the, most of the stress of the day is gone now. Oh, we might just put the drone up and uh, have a look. Uh, we're now into the bottom field, which is next to the river. Uh, there's a big pylon in here, but no manholes whatsoever, which is nice. There's a massive pylon, but I mean, electricity pylons, I can I can see them. They're easy. I got some branches added to the side of my tractor, which is lovely. My mirror's been pushed in as well. The joys of cutting grass. It is nice and thick down here. It's come well in this field. It is nice down here by the river. Like I said, this grass has come come really well. Only problem we have down here is the problem we do have down here is um, people dog fouling. Like people walk the dogs. I don't think there is two footpaths, but there isn't all one all around every single field. But there seems to be. Um, but that seems to be the way of the world at the minute. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it today because um, it's getting a long video and me and. Uh, and maybe a few of us are going to go to a combined event tonight um, with Ripon Farm Services. Matt just um, let us know about it this morning. So we thought, right, we'll head up there and um, we'll go and see some combines and uh, have a burger and stuff. So that should be nice. Um, hopefully I'll get some footage and I'll show you in tomorrow's video or a separate one or something like that. But um, yeah, hope everyone's had a great day. Subscribe, like, all that business. If you want some of the merch, you know where it is, joeseals.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna get all this finished now. Easy, stress free, upload this video, job done. Business. See you guys, bye.